Hi everybody, I'm Matt Ruddick from the Academy of Model Aeronautics and Model Aviation Magazine. And my name is Chad Budrow, and if you've been following the magazine, we've been doing a series of LiPo Basics. This is a part four of the four-part series in which we talk about how to properly store and dispose of your LiPo batteries. That's right, one of the most important things you can do with your battery, other than flying them, right. is to properly store them and properly dispose of them. Because uh, there's a lot of damage that can be done with one of these batteries if they're not yes. taken care of properly. Exactly. When I started flying, I didn't really think much about it. Uh, you know, oh, I'll just leave it in the airplane connected, or I'll just throw these in the back of the car, or a junk mm -hmm. drawer, or a case. Eh, that's fine. And when I'm ready to fly, I'll, I'll just grab them and hunt them down. Don't want to do that. No, not at all. Uh, what you want to do, a couple things. One, if you know you're not going to fly for a little while, you want to discharge these batteries to about 50%. Each cell is typically about 7.4 volts. You That's want right. to go to about 3.8, 3.9 volts mm -hmm. and discharge it to 50%. Yeah, and something else you want to do, make sure you cover the connectors. If you're going to store a lot of batteries together in one place, make sure you take all of these connectors, cover them up with electrical tape, yes. ta get them so that they can't make contact with each other and cause any kind of short. Put it in a lipo sack, put it in an ammo box with some venting abilities. Keep it in a good climate control environment. You don't want it to get above 70 degrees. Right. Uh, you know, so wherever you can find a nice cool place, just stop the habit of keeping these fully charged and stored in a junk drawer, stored That's in right. the back of your car. And you're really gonna help extend the life of your battery by, by doing those practices. If you don't do those practices, or even if the battery just gets old, this will happen. Eventually it will become puffed. And this is pretty mild compared to some of the other batteries we've seen. Yep, that's right. Um, what can I do once I've got a puffed battery or once I've got a battery that's lost about 20% or more right. of, its, of its capacity? What's a good way to dispose of these batteries? Well, first of all, yeah, stop flying. Because it's tempting to do that. And I know batteries aren't cheap, but it's not worth the risk. Right. There's a great site we recommend or a great organization called uh, call to recycle. That's right. If you go to their website, they list quite a few locations where you can drop these off, including Best Buy, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of major retailers. What you want to do is, just like when you store them, you want to wrap the connectors just so nothing short, so they don't interact, engage with other batteries. Exactly. You, ideally, you know, kind of individually bag them, mm -hmm. take it to a Best Buy or take it to a call to recycle center, drop it off, no questions asked. That's right, and it's really as simple as that. There, there's no cost involved nope. in it. All you got to do is take it to one of your local drop-off centers and you can go to the Call to Recycle website to find a local drop-off center near you and get rid of those old batteries, get rid of those puffed exactly. batteries that you should not be flying anymore and you'll be all set. Exactly, exactly. If you'd like to learn more about how to properly dispose and store your LiPo battery, read the October 2015 issue of Model Aviation. We go into great detail there. Mm -hmm. Plus, readers can go to modelaviation.com. They'll find this article as well as our previous installments on battery basics. That's right. You could also check out other videos that we've produced to go along with those articles, and you can find those all at modelaviation.com. For Chad Budrow, I'm Matt Ruddick from the Academy of Model Aeronautics and Model Aviation Magazine. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.